आप देख रहे हैं ए आर टी वी चैनल हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज दिलीप आई एम द चीफ एकेडमिक एडवाइजर एट टॉर्चिया विद कॉलेज एंड आई ऑल्सो टीच फिजिक्स सो लाइक माई फ्रेंड जस्ट मैंशन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर स्पेशली फॉर एम सेट नीट एग्जाम्स वेयर टाइम इज अ वेरी बिग कंस्ट्रेंट यू हैव टू मेंटेन योर टाइम वेरी वेल एंड यू हैव टू मैनेज एंड योर स्ट्रैटेजी वेरी वेल बट वैन इट कम्स टू एडवांस्ड एग्जाम the things are uh, slightly different because in an advanced exam you hardly get 18 questions per subject and you have plenty of time that is uh, available so in especially uh, in the advanced exams it is not really about the time it is purely about the subject how deep do you know about your subject one important thing that people uh, students should understand is in the advanced exam you don't need to uh, attempt the entire paper if you clear 40% to 50% of the paper you will easily get into iits that is one point people should understand If you are clearing 100% of an advanced level, pa- level paper, you are a whole different student. So we are not really talking about that case. We are talking about cases where you just need to create a uh, clear 40% to 50% of a paper, and that would be great. So to do that, you need to figure out which topics you are strong at and which topics you are weak at. Since uh, you already prepared two years uh, uh, for the entire preparation, now it is the time that you can actually tell which topics are strong at which which topics you are weak at. Especially for physics, recently I have uh, talked to my students. and i actually made a list of uh, topics that where they are really strong at if there is a topic which is where you are weak at i suggest you don't touch that topic at all at this point and only go to the topics which are really strong at keep on practicing them when it comes to practice i can suggest you even some books also where especially for physics i can suggest you some books like hc varma and dc pandey everybody practice there are some books like irido and there are arihant dpp series books I seriously suggest these books where you can prepare and get into a lot of depth when it comes to the subject. So once the subject is very clear, you make sure you're not committing any silly mistakes since you only have 18 questions and out of 18 questions you're only committing clearing 9 questions. So you need to make sure which questions you are uh, supposed to attempt. You have to have a very good clarity. Once you have that clarity, you need to make sure those questions are properly uh, done in the exam. so to that extent to to have a clarity to that extent you have to practice the subject in a whole different uh, depth and we suggest that a lot in our campuses to get the subject level in our whole different level and also uh, i see a lot of students struggling at these points especially when it comes to uh, getting to questions that touch your ego you open a question the question is difficult but it seems like it is coming for you don't get stuck on those kind of questions if you find a question that feels like coming but it takes a lot of time leave that question towards the end of the exam make sure you are only attempting questions that are easy in the beginning of the exam once you clear all those at least 50% or 40% of the paper then you go on to the questions which you find difficult time taking yet you can solve them these are the kind of questions you should only and only attempt towards the end of the exam you need to make sure of the students who are getting into an ego trip where they attempt a question and they just spend the entire time on that specific question please not try not to do that so if you manage your time well if you manage your subject well i think you will do great in the advanced exams also i wish you all the best for all the exams uh, neat mains and uh, mset and uh, j advanced also thank you thank you